name is Sukra, uh, last name Husseini. I'm originally from Afghanistan. I have been here in United States like uh, uh, more than six years. Uh, I wanted to learn traditional art because in, I, I felt like we are almost losing our traditional art. Yeah, that is why I decided to be an artist since 2011. I found two centers in Afghanistan. One of them was government, the other one was like Turquoise Mountain Institute in Kabul. Going there also was not easy. I learned there uh, calligraphy, illumination, and miniature painting, three kind of different. Also, that is, uh, I learned there how to make my own paper, my brush, my pigment from gems, stones. Uh, all those cool things I learned in uh, three years. Uh, I had a very la a tough uh, life. Um, I lost my father when I was nine years old, and then I lost my mom when I was 14 years old. And then, like, I was in second grade in a school that, that the Taliban came in power and then closed a school for girls, for women. I was not able to go to school for six years. And then we have to follow their rule uh, to this uh, subject in my art, to talk through my art, to talk about me, myself, and woman. We have a very beautiful culture. We have art, we have poem. It was, it was really, for me, it was like shocking uh, when I, I show some of my artwork to a, a lady, American lady, and then they say like this, what is this? I say, this is calligraphy, it is a beautiful poem. And then it is mean this one. And then she said like, you have poem, you have poet. That was like, they said like, I'm sorry to say that, but I feel like you just fighting with each other. And then that was very painful for me. That is why I decided I want to be, talk with about my culture, about my um, country, about my uh, people. I went to back my childhood. And then I remember that I was making a doll, a doll from a small wood, some fabric to put together. My doll had nothing, no eyes, no mouth, no arms, no legs. They don't have eyes to see. They don't have work to do something, and then like no legs to do something. And then I have that uh, doll that is woman in Afghanistan, unfortunately. The Smithsonian uh, Museum exhibition was like a group show, group artist show. I was the first artist to come for the opening of that show. And then that was the beautiful memory or experience that I had. When I came to Smithsonian Museum and then I saw like so much respect, so much love about my artwork and then what I'm doing, that, is, that was amazing. Uh, I hear a lot of good words from people. Some of them they say like I am the gift of God, that God is sent here. Oh my goodness, that was so big. <laughs> I was feeling that I, I have wings that I can fly. That was the, the best experience that I had in my life. I feel like, like life is tough for all women, but especially for women, like they are living like in our country. Always I wish, I wish I was able to do something for them or for them. There is no hope. Right now, I, I have a residency in Peace Art. This is a beautiful organization. Uh, that's, uh, uh, they gave me this opportunity uh, to uh, be residents here and then have a place to work. I really want to be in the community. I really want to people here. My story, if I did, and then stand to talk about myself.